Today we're looking at the Korg 01W Pro X, 88 weighted keys, just like a piano. So if you're following my videos, I've already reviewed the 01, um, the original. I have one of the very first uh, ones to leave the assembly line. This is the other extreme, the final version, the synthesizer that has wood grain on it from the 90s makes it feel like one of those synthesizers or organs that you saw at the mall store uh, it has a floppy drive it is uh every bell and whistle they could possibly pack into a synthesizer in the early 90s so if you're looking for like acoustic or you know realistic sounding instruments this is an amazing synth if you're doing evocative music or soundtracks it's something i would definitely Put on my recommend list the playability of the 88 keys they're weighted they just feel feel so nice it's something that you wouldn't expect from korg and maybe from yamaha or Kawai, who are piano builders This keyboard overall is is really nice to play. Um, the sounds are, um, you know, what you'd expect from a '90s Rompler. They're incredibly high quality for the time. I think they they do hold up to a degree. Um, but I've set this up for my daughter so that she can learn piano. And given that it's got a, a weighted action and full 88 keys, I think it's a perfect option. I found it for less than 150 euros. So it's a, a, a bit of a score for a synth that was, uh, you know, I think around $4,000 back in the day. This is not a synth I'd, I'd recommend anyone go out and buy. It definitely, you know, if you're looking for a weighted action keyboard, um, it is a a powerful synthesizer with, um, you know, really nice action, really nice keys. Um, probably the best one I have as far as as piano like feel. Um, the downside is that it is a an old synth some of the sounds are a little bit weak all the samples you know definitely sound sampled to our ears today in 2023 um that said it's it's got some degree of of elegance to it i'm not sure if i actually like the design i really like the the smaller 01 design better this one feels very bulky obviously it has to manage for the uh, the keys, but um, nonetheless, it is a, uh, a monster. It's very heavy. Um, so I would recommend this is a synth you pass on. Um, you can get all these sounds for your VST or your DAW and um, really do more faster without having to think about um, aging technology. So nonetheless, I do really find this synthesizer fun to play with. Um, it is a good, um, you know, piano substitute, and I do find I can get some good ideas from fooling around with the, um, you know, the, the fully tactile approach to 90 synthesizers. Um, if you find this interesting, please do like and subscribe. I have many more uh, devices and synthesizers to share, and um, I hope this is. Uh, Bye.